Welcome to this Fearless Fundamentals video. It's awesome to have Natalie back. Yes, And hello. Uh, we wanna dive a little bit deeper into some principles of energetic embodiment, which is what we teach here. And I wanna use Natalie to kind of demonstrate some eye contact and some different principles around eye contact that you can play with. I already kind of did this in a previous video, but I figure we can always go a little deeper, play a little bit more. So in this video, it's gonna be all about eye contact. So are you ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Let's go. So eye contact is probably one of the most important things because people are walking around all day and they're playing with their eye contact, okay? They're feeling people out, they're looking at people and they're being seen by people. And we don't realize that we can push and pull with our eye contact. So when I'm looking at a girl from a distance, a woman from a distance, and I'm taking her in and I go into my head, like a lot of guys are in their head, it can be like this. And there can be a, there's a pressure that gets created, even from a distance. Like I could be clear across the room, right? Yeah. And you could feel a guy that's pressure, it's, it's putting pressure on you. How does that feel when I do that? Feels um, unwelcoming. Unwelcoming, yeah. And, and now I'm gonna add a little element and I wanna see if it changes for you. If I start to do this and add that one element, how does that feel? It feels like you're not really here. Okay. Um, but it also feels like a little bit aggressive. Okay. That's because I added, I moved from the back of my body to the front of my body. Mm -hmm. And it's which, what a lot of guys do when they're in wanting. And they're in, like, I really want to meet her. Oh, wow, look at her. There's a part of them that, that doesn't know how to relax into their own body. And they're, it's like they're trying to jump out of their body and get to hers because they're so attracted to her. That You get that feeling, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, like when men are like pushing on right. you. Yeah, yeah. So do you feel that? Like if I'm coming up to you from a distance, you'll feel these different eye contacts coming from a distance and you're already saying what? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to talk to this guy. a little overwhelmed. Exactly. So what we want to work on is the ability, and this is why we do so many highs, we're always working on this stuff with everybody, not just with women. If you just wait for a beautiful woman to be in your presence to practice this stuff, it's going to take forever if you ever get there. But if you're talking to everybody and practicing eye contact with everybody all the time, everywhere you go and saying hi to everybody, then it gets that much easier when you run into somebody you like because you've already got it under your belt. So if I'm looking at Natalie from a distance and I relax, and what I do is I put 80% of my energy on my own body, okay? So I'm feeling me first. I am owning my body first and then enjoying the presence of this beautiful woman in and through my body, not trying to get out of my body and get to her or in a sense, get into her body is what a lot of guys are trying to do, literally. We're trying to, <laughs> yeah. we're trying to get validation from the woman, get in it, and we're trying to get all this stuff from women, okay? So if you look at me from a distance, that what I just did was me trying to get out of my body. I'm hunting, I'm wanting, I'm like, hi, what's your name? And there's this energy jumping towards her, right? And if you watch what I do here, and the reason I'm doing it from a distance, because you guys have to approach from a distance, if I drop down and I start to feel my own body, I, I literally, as they call it, turning on the observer in meditation, I feel my legs, I feel my hips, I feel my stomach, I feel my heart, I open my heart, where curiosity resides, appreciation resides, and I just take her in and I let her feel me rather than me trying to feel her, and I show her what I'm feeling inside, now she knows who I am, she, she can be safe. So if I open my heart and I just see her, I can just smile at her. Maybe that's all it is today. Maybe today I just see this beautiful woman and I'm walking down the street and I just give her a nod and I open my heart as I go by and we have a little moment. Maybe I run into her tomorrow and we have another little moment. It's really nice. And do you feel a difference? Such a big difference. What, what is the difference from here? Well, like your heart is so much more open and it makes me want to open myself more. Yeah. Whereas before it was just so much straight energy, like out of your eyes, like so much wanting and yeah. it just kind of throws me off. But yeah. this feels like open, I feel safe. I feel like, you know, just like I can open. Yeah. He's open, I can open too. So. And so does it make sense to you that she's gonna wanna hang out with a guy she can be open with and be herself with? And if I'm not putting pressure on her and I'm just enjoying her, and you also want to be appreciated and enjoyed. Like you, you dress beautifully. Mm -hmm. You want to have a guy witness that yeah. and, and receive that. So as I look at her, and I said this in the last video, as I look at her, I can, let's say I'm at a distance. 
I can take her into my head, which is here, which isn't gonna feel very good. I can take her into my throat. I can take her into my heart, which is where everything softens. And so I don't know if you can feel that guys, but now I'm just like sitting in my heart with her. Where the magic happens for dating is when you take her, you keep the heart open, take her into the heart, and then you take her one notch further right into the stomach area where the, um, if you look up gut as a second brain, that's your instinctual brain, that's your, the animal side of you. And a dating perspective with women, you want to marry the animal with the spiritual, the higher self with the lower self, the emotional body and instinctual body, and in the sense, the spiritual body. And what that means is really interesting is that she can feel me in my animal as a man. She can feel me drop down into the lower part of my body, but she also feels my heart and feels me open. I'm not gonna lose control to it. So as a woman, how important is it for you to know your man is in touch with his animalistic side as much as he's in touch with his spiritual side, his, his heart, his loving side? It is important. It's, it's grounding. Okay. Yeah. Grounding. It makes yeah. you feel what? Makes me feel like wanted, but also respected. Right. And so there's two qualities there, yeah. wanted and respected. Super yeah. important. Keep going. Is there anything else? Uh, that, that basically is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So think about it. The wanted part is the animal because what is sex, but animalistic, it's our animal sexuality. And when you're approaching a woman, you're saying, Hey, I might want to have sex with you. I don't know. You're, there's something about you that interests me. So if you got shame around sex and you're not in touch with your animal, then she's going to not want to really hang out with a guy that's like that mm -hmm. because he's not going to be any fun. And then you also, she also wants to know you can see her humanity, her spirit, her soul, see her as a person. That's the heart part. Nice guys get the heart part. You know, you, you're such a sweet person. I, I don't just see you as an object. And then a lot of bad boys get the animal part, right? And players, bad boys. And they're like, Hey, you know, like, I want to bring out your animal. And then if you get that bad boy with a heart or that guy who's third stage man, David data talks about, he's got all of that integrated. He's in his animal, he's in his heart, and he can respect you and ravish you all at the same time. And so that's what all that gets said starts with subcommunication. So again, guys, if I'm standing in front of her and I see her and I'm letting her into my heart, I'm letting her into my stomach and I walk over, I, I have to modulate, right? So as I will come forward, I'm gonna modulate and get more relaxed. And, and I'm just gonna let her in, I'm gonna witness her. And I'm gonna say, it could be as simple as hi. I, you know, I, I saw you and I had to meet you. Hi, nice um, to meet you. And if you get nervous, you wanna own that. So embarrassment is your friend and it works to your advantage. And so many of you guys wanna get past that nervousness before you approach. And the honest truth is you wanna love it. Fall in love with your vulnerability and your nervousness, okay? And that's what'll make it work. Um, so again, what I'm going to say is, is I'm just going to go through it so you see it all. If I'm standing here and I want to talk to her, am I receiving her in? If I want to uh, play a little bit, I might, I might go this way just a little bit where I'm like, hey, what's up? And I push a little bit and then, but then I want to come back to receiving again. And I want to just let her in and, and really enjoy her, be curious about her. Um, and that's basically really good eye contact. When you're letting her in, you're letting her into your heart and ultimately your stomach. Because it's at your stomach that you start, that almost every client starts getting dates is when they get to their stomach. And one more demo of that, just so you have it. If I come up to my heart and I'm all up here, hi, how you doing, Natalie? My name's Brian, I just want to say hi to you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. It, found, it sounds what, very friendly, very yeah, nice? Okay. Yeah, yeah. If I drop into my stomach, which means relaxing right here in the rib cage, open, there's a sense of vulnerability in the heart and I'm relaxing in the rib cage and I drop down a little bit and then I'm like, hi, Natalie. Hi. Yeah, I just had to meet you. Thank there's, you for coming over. <laughs> there's a different energy in that, isn't there? Mm -hmm. And that energy has a lot more intent to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, how does it feel different to you? It feels like you're really connecting, yeah. but like a deeper connection and that that's cool. And that's because the stomach is an instinctual body. We talked about that earlier. It's the beginning of grounding and it's the beginning of really you demonstrating that you're a man that can handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. And I know nobody talks about this stuff. We talk about it a lot in our embodiment programs. I talk about it in the Art of Fearless Seduction book here, which just basically goes through all these embodiment principles. It's not a book 
it's not a step-by-step how-to book, but it's a book with these basic how to get in the, the different parts of your body, how these different energies work. So if you want to check that out, uh, there'll be a link in the video too. Or if you want to check out our programs, check out our website, uh, thefearlessman.com, and check out the events page. We have events, we have uh, programs, all kinds of stuff online. So anything you want to say about eye contact? One thing I wanted to talk about quickly is when guys are a little bit nervous, it can be kind of endearing in a way, as long as they own it and as long as they don't let themselves get too embarrassed that they're embarrassed. <laughs> so like to just be comfortable and just kind of own it, that's really attractive and charming. Yeah, that's the, uh, to me that's the most important part of it, and that's that vulnerability part. If yeah. you get vulnerable and start to love your vulnerability, you're way more attractive. Actually, mm-hmm. we, t- we, we did talk about this earlier, but when a guy gets really confident and he doesn't have any nervousness he's actually almost less attractive right that's true yeah yeah it's nice to see that like this guy is like a real person i've seen guys that that approach so many women they get so comfortable approaching women that it's just like hey and they can walk to women and women can tell the difference at that point it's almost a problem so you know wouldn't you rather be affected by her that's the whole reason you're dating her because she causes an effect in your life she makes you nervous she makes you giddy so you can't wait to see her like you get nervous around her when you're in front of her you're you know there's that mm-hmm. and then you're like but i'm I, I can't you know you make me nervous but i love it like mm-hmm. i can't wait to be here Let, let's go hang out like yeah. two little kids <laughs> you know and that's what makes it work awesome so with that said make sure to subscribe make sure to like the video make sure to click uh, the bell notification make sure to share the video with anybody that uh, you think could use the video and make sure to comment the video we really look at these comments a lot we're always responding to them and it tells us what you want more of if you like this that type of stuff that's one of the best ways to get your questions answered too so with that said remember only the confident really that see you in the next video